Hello again boys and girls. Welcome back to another story. Tonight's book is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. <laughs> The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl Philomel Books In the light of the moon a little egg lay on a leaf One Sunday morning the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. <laughs> One pear, two pears. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Oh, so hungry. One, two, three plums. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Hungry. One, two, three, four strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. Four, five oranges. Wow. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, my tummy hurts. Uh oh. Thank you, baby. The caterpillar tummy is hurting. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Yes. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Look at him. Wow. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... Wow! He was a beautiful butterfly! Wow, isn't, isn't that really nice? 
That's the end of our story, boys and girls. I hope you had fun. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>